Welcome back to Simulacra 2. I was just taking a look at this, uh, I don't actually know what this is called, I guess flowchart of the possible ways the game can go. And I noticed a nice little detail. The colors for the different characters and the th events attached to them match the color that they are in the chat room. You know how when Mina talks in the group chat, their text is all purple? Well, they're purple. The Ripple Man claims Mina, that's purple. Same here. Yeah, and then green for Rex. And I guess like a pink for Arya. Okay, so continuing with trying to get different endings. Uh, this is going to be a little bit weird because a lot of this is going to be stuff we've already seen and I'm not exactly sure where things start to diverge. So I'm just going to go ahead off camera and I'll bring you back when something different happens. Just dialed every single person in the phone book. Didn't get any answers or anything interesting, uh, but actually did save one that I want to do on camera. 911. Surely something's going to happen when I dial this. What? Welcome to emergency services. We have upgraded to a new self-guided response service to better aid you with your current crisis. Press 1 for medical emergencies. Oh. Press 2 for fire-related emergencies. Press 3 for robberies and or break-ins. Press 4 for vehicular collisions. Press 5 for other incidents or to reach a live operator. If our operators and field staff are currently busy and unable to attend to your crisis at this moment, please press 1 to return to the main menu. Welcome to emergency. The following advice is brought to you by NetMD, your trusted source for human health and well-being. Press 1 for heart attack. <laughs> this is... Press 2 if you or someone you know is choking. Perform the Heimlich maneuver at once. If you are unable to do so, simply repeatedly slap their back aggressively until the blockage is dislodged. Did you find this service helpful? On a scale of 1 to 5, please dial your satisfaction level with 1 being the lowest rating. Your feedback is greatly appreciated and your data will be used to improve our medical advice. Have a nice day. That system could use a little bit of work. Why the damn hell did you call the emergency line from Maya's phone? Just... Testing out the phone. You're in possession of stolen evidence. If they trace the call back to that phone, we're toast. We can't even afford live operators. It's a disgrace, isn't it? But don't change the subject. Just please do your job instead of poking around for your own amusement. So far, the tactic I've been taking is instead of being uh, accusatory and really trying to press the three friends or colleagues, I guess, uh, for information, instead I'm really pressing any dialogue about TRM or the Ripple Man, trying not to accuse the friends of anything, trying to go easy on them, since I know that they didn't actually do it. We know that Maya took the deal. Um, and now we just got to the conversation with Alvin the Almighty. I remember last time I scared him away, right there part of this uh, uh, Rex's pyramid scheme or Ponzi scheme or whatever scheme and I was critical of that and it made them basically say fuck off and <laughs> never wanted to talk with me again so this time I'm just gonna try to be like yeah great sounds great and just not criticize it at all um, I'm ready for this journey I won't even tell them that I'm police exercise is life-changing I, I want to feel successful. Came to the right place. Well, this isn't gym related, but since you want success, let me tell you a secret. The throat method. Mm, tell me about it. Serious? You're interested? I mean, that's great news. Mm-hmm. I want to be a millionaire. 
who doesn't? I'm gonna blow your mind when you hear how easy this is. Rex Keegan, great god! What? I uh, don't waste my time. Oh, right, pocket dial. I'm not just gonna hang up on that. <laughs> um, how am I getting paid? You get paid by the likes you give and the more people you bring into the program. Sounds like an amazing deal. You do get it. The like train, or umbrella, some might call it, allows the top 1% income to trickle down to the 99%. How do I start? Just pay the fee and you will get kickstarted with this seminar. I want to grow my business by growing. Scan that. This program sounds like it helps people. Exactly. We've been working for the rich for far too long. Rex wants to liberate us from that. Alvin's hope. Alvin sees Rex as his savior. Please let Rex know that I'm your referral. Al out. Okay, so can can I actually sign up? Like if we go back to the website. How did this thing work again? Like do I just enter my own name? I mean, you know, Maya's name? Yeah, like we got the referral, but Do we just type in, like, Alvin? Or Alvin the Almighty? Is that how it's spelled? Mm, yeah, that was spelled correctly. Huh. Maybe we just talk to Rex about it? I think we've done this before, though. Looks like we can't say, yeah, sign me up. All we can do is criticize the Ponzi scheme. Okay, here, check this out. I'm not going to read all of this. Um, but have you noticed little icons that appear with some of the chat messages? I think just two types. I think the sun and then uh, storm cloud. I wasn't really sure what they meant, but now that I've been paying more attention to them and experimenting with the dialogue, I think it just means whether the person you're talking with particularly likes or dislikes what you're saying, whether you're getting on their good or bad side. So I tried to get on Rex's good side, especially since I know that they didn't take the deal. And I got mostly a lot of sons. I got one angry, some nuns, but a lot of sons. And that led to something new. Basically, instead of going after um, Rex's guilt and being like, okay, what are you hiding? What were you doing that night? Et cetera, et cetera. What's up with the scheme? Instead, just Trying to bring them together, right? Because they keep all wanting to implode and say like, oh, the other two, they did the deal or Mina did the deal or Arya did the deal or something like that. All this paranoia. But I'm trying to bring them together since I know that none of them are the problem. Trying to unify them. And now we're here. Can't believe I'm believing a dead girl, but there might be a way out. So the night Maya got offed, she dragged us over because she said this ripple thing was going to kill us. So we had to end it by... It had something to do with phones. This is good. This is very good. What about phones? I know we need that original phone from that person. Oh, wait, let me think. A phone jammer. We need a phone jammer to contain the ripple thing. Because Maya said it moves through phone signals. And I was like, what? Guess that's why she even had a jammer in the first place. Rex's perspective. Rex says Maya had a plan to stop the Ripple Man. The plan involved getting a hold of a phone jammer. A phone jammer? It's a device that blocks phone signals. She said it was all part of the plan. Maya had this whole ritual for us. Something about the way she said it was kind of weird. But yeah, the, the gist is that we all got to do it together for the ritual to work.
Uh, what was weird? So she was all nutso about this deal, right? But we didn't ask her if she took the deal. So if the rest of us didn't do it... So what about the sacrifice? Could be a self-sacrifice? You get a wish and I get your soul kind of deal? But all right, we gotta focus on the now. So phone jammers are kinda illegal. Pretty sure the cops would have taken it after poking around Maya's place. You think you can get access to Maya's stuff? Mm, I think my boss can help us with this. Very interesting. Maya's face hasn't changed yet. Good. Very good. Did you find a phone jammer at Maya's place? Black box with antennas sticking out of it? Yeah, why do you ask? Is it important? It can help stop the Ripple Man. Are you sure about this? But if the Ripple Man interacts through phones... Okay, it's worth a shot. I need you to get it for me. What? I'm neck deep in trouble here and you want me to steal more evidence? It's going to help the case. Excuse me? What in goddamn hell's going on? But we need someone to infiltrate the precinct and get it. Um, I got a guy the precinct doesn't know? Do I? Is that true? <laughs> Bricks, chill. I got a guy the precinct doesn't know. I hope to God that's true. Great job. This can't lead back to us. I really hope this guy of yours is reliable. He's our only option. This is really testing my boundaries. I suppose we have no choice. There's a plumber scheduled to come in today. Mr. Baker from Baker Bros. Your guy is going to play Mr. Baker. Once he's in, ask him to get into the bathroom that needs fixing. I'll call for a meeting at the ground floor to clear the place for him. How's he going to know his way around? I've given you additional access in Warden. Key in the precinct to name there and you'll get the blueprint of the place. Oh, wow. This is leading to some real different stuff. I think this is all going to be new from here. From here on out, I think everything's going to be different. Uh, walk me through this plan. Blueprint will show you where the room is, but it's not that simple. First, you need the keys. It's in the drawer labeled Keys in the Admin Room. Can't miss it. You get the yellow key. Next, head to the server room and access the PC there. Type in the evidence reference number in the search bar. The reference number is the same one in the case file. After you typed it in, it will tell you where the evidence is stored. Got it. Just get in and out quick and everything will be fine. Hope to God the two of you get this right. Or I'll come after you myself. Evidence, blah, blah, item six is not accounted for. That's not the item that we're going to steal, is it? There's no way it's already been stolen. personnel based at the station to report to the conference room for an emergency meeting regarding the declining standards of hygiene amongst staff. <laughs> so it's the West Bandrica, I believe. So city records, police stations, blueprints, West Bandrica. It was previously West Pandrica All Boys School. Last renovated 1958. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, floor two blueprint. We don't have the other floors. Hopefully that's the only one we need. 
And I'll open that in a minute. Picture from 1928 when it was a school. What is now the West Bandrica Police Station was once an all-boys boarding school in the late 20s. The construction of this building was led by Carl Mendelssohn of the Mendelssohn family dynasty. It was his wish to give back to the community that his family had wronged through decades of corruption and exploitation. Through his efforts, he's constructed several buildings encompassing the area. This includes a few public libraries, the Maysfield Park, Open Hearts Hospital, Accolades Community Center, and the West Bandrica All Boys School. The school was opened in 28. Throughout the years, the school has nurtured great minds and talents across the country. It was even ranked number 12th on the national list of best schools in the state. What stood out about the school was its student body, which was made up of at-risk youth. Mendelssohn himself was a member of the faculty, teaching mathematics. Unfortunately, on the night of October 1st, 1952, a dreadful fire of unknown origins engulfed the school. The incident took the lives of 13 students and five faculty members, including Mendelssohn himself. The tragedy left the school in a permanent state of ruin and the institution was closed down months after. Years later, Mendelssohn's granddaughter, Camille Mendelssohn, commissioned a renovation of the school. Instead of restoring it to its former purpose, um, Camille stated the school would be converted into a police station, saying, well, my grandfather is no longer here to guide our community. And this building and its people will continue to protect it. The West Bandrica Police Station was opened in 1963 and it has been a cornerstone of West Bandrica since. It's interesting. All this talk about a fire and very specific names of other areas or other buildings built by Mendelssohn. And then also the specific day that the fire happened makes me think that this is stuff I can search about. I just don't see how this could be related to the Ripple Man. But, I mean, I'm going to search for it. Let's take a look at the blueprint. Actually, let's open that later. I guess that's going to be there forever. Oh, well. Schools. Uh, this isn't going to show us accidents, is it? Management, blueprints, finance. Management? Hmm. Yeah. What if I type in old boys school? I don't think this is going to work. It's road accidents. It's certainly not that. Maybe case file? Oh, why would there be a case about the fire? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if foul play was suspected or not. Carl Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn. Yep, that's spelled right. Closed and it happened October. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it is irrelevant. Okay. Was it the admin room where the key is? Yeah, what was the next step? Drawer labeled keys in the admin room. Yep, yellow key. We also need a reference number for the piece of evidence, the jammer. That's in media, right? Is it media or is it clues? I think it's clues. There it is. I don't want to see the pictures. Unknown device, this one. Item number four, quantity one. Oh, does it not have its own specific... I guess it's just item four? Yeah, I guess I'll just type in 
3911-B. And then item four. What's the case again? It's case G31298. I'm not sure what the 3911B is versus the case number, but got it all written down. Now, who is my man on the inside? I'm sorry, is it going to be Rex or something? Yo, I'm here. What's the status? Who do I see? Don't let me hanging. Okay, I'll wait for your cue. Convinced him yet? I'm getting nervous just being around all these uniforms. Oh, it is going to be Rex. That's weird. We never... At no point during this conversation did we say, Hey, Rex, can you do it? Rex said, do you think you can get access? And then I said, I think my boss can help us with this. And the next thing we know, Rex is like, yep, ready to do the, do ready to do the job. <laughs> okay. Up and at him. Up for a heist? What? You want me to break into a police station? How? Oh, I guess they went there to... They expected that somebody would, like, just give them the evidence, I guess. Release it to them. I, I guess that's why they went to the station. Then I'm surprising them with the fact that, oh, yeah, no one's going to give it to you. You got to take it. You're going to impersonate a plumber. Uh, what if I get caught? Your cover name is Mr. Baker. Don't worry about it. You won't get caught. Great. Great. Can't even get a cool coat name. Jeez. It's not a big deal. Yeah, you're not the one stealing from cops. And what the hell are you going to be doing, huh? I'll be your guide. Typical. I get the worst job. I guess I'll get in character. Are you ready, Mr. Baker? Okay. Heading to the counter now. Got the pass. Jeez, it can't be this easy to break into a police station. Lady at the counter told me the broken bathroom's upstairs. So many cops. Man, I'm getting fidgety. This is your ultimate con, man. You're already making me regret this. Screw it. Let's do this. Just got out from the staircase. There's a long corridor with two doors at the end. What do I do now? Long corridor with two doors at the end. Uh, hold on. Just came off of the stairs. Are they looking at... They're looking at these, aren't they? Shower in the pantry. I mean, neither of those. I guess. Should they pretend that they're fixing the thing? Like, should they go in there first? Go to the bathroom? That's the server room up here. Evidence room. Administrative assistant, I guess that's where the key would be. They said admin room, but administrative assistant is the closest thing. Just stay put and wait for a while. All right. Someone just asked me what I'm doing here. I showed them my pass and they pointed me to the bathroom. In case you don't get the gravity of the situation here, I'm going to get my ass kicked if they find me wandering around like this. Okay, yeah, it made more sense to go to the bathroom first. Maps are hard to read, okay? That's not true. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Better learn, learn up fast, because plumbers belong in the bathroom, and if you keep screwing around, someone's going to nail me. It smells like something died in here. Man, they really do need a plumber. Okay, I'm hearing a commotion outside. Most of the staff are all heading downstairs. Ah, my guy on the inside is paving the way for you. Noise! Okay, I'm out of the bathroom. Where do I go now? We can't go straight to the evidence room, can we? No, we need the key. Wait at the waiting area first. Is that the right thing to do? 
Sorry, I always get lost where I'm going. Media. What? Where is the waiting room? I don't see a waiting room. Waiting area, I guess? Because we can't go to the evidence room first. Okay, here and trying to blend in. But there's this grown-ass kid here crying to his dad about getting busted for weed. Man, this is awkward. I'm chilling next to the conference room door. Three doors in front of me. What's the next step? Chilling next to the conference room door. Conference room. Three doors in front of him. Okay, so we want the administrative assistant, so middle door. There's a key drawer. What a mess. Any idea which it is? We... it's the one with the yellow tag. Yep, this is the one. It's labeled too. Package acquired. Heading out now. Shit. Hold on. You can go for a bathroom break if you want. <laughs> I don't need a bathroom break. Almost got my ass busted. One of the staff asked me what I was doing here. Told her I'm the plumber. Just looking for mops. Where are you now? She led me to the janitor's closet. So I'm here now. I saw the evidence room on the way here. Should I just go there? No, we need to go to the server room. You need something else. Okay. I'm in the janitor's closet now. Where am I heading to? In the janitor's closet. This is pretty cool. This is really fun. Janitor's closet. So coming out of it, it's forwards and to the right. First door on the right. Second door on the right. I'm here. There's a computer here with a database search bar. You think this can tell us where the evidence is stored? I need to key in some sort of evidence collection reference number as part of a case file. Ooh, I can free type. So, as part of a case file. So this must be the 3911-B, probably? Okay, got it. I know where it's stored. I passed by the evidence room on the way here. Heading there now. Now go get the jammer. I just said I'm making my way there. Got it. All right, time to hightail it out of this joint. Yes! Nailed it. Mission accomplished. You should have seen me. I was all stealthy and shit, like a freaking ninja. Uh, 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 anyway, it takes three to tango. We need the girls too. I'll hang on to this till you get them. I'm proud of Rex, even if they are a little shitter. You scared the package? Of course, I'm a pro, all right. Clean in and out. Rex has managed to retrieve the phone jammer needed to destroy the Ripple Man. Just to reiterate that this plan's only going to work if you can get everyone in. Not a whole a whole lot I can do with just the jammer. We gotta know what the rest know as well. For everyone's sake, I hope they remember something. So Marilla asked where are we on this and I said Rex thinks none of them took the deal. So he's playing dumb, huh? What did he say? Said he has a plan to stop the ripple, man. Marilla said a plan? Need to remind you that we're looking for a criminal here? Don't you want to stop the monster? Of course I do. That means not getting derailed by half-baked plans. If we screw up this investigation, this will be the end of everything. Our mission to expose these simulacra hinges on this case. We need to find the person who took the deal. What if your theory is wrong? 
I need to try to break Marilla out of thinking that one of these three took the deal. My experience and gut tell me I'm right. Until you have concrete proof, my theory is the best route to solving this. Two more left to talk to. I'll be in touch. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to keep trying to get everybody in on this plan to stop the Ripple Man. We are making really good progress at getting a different ending, I think. <laughs>